Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to this dream where we are all going to learn a new opening thanks to two individuals. One who is a master at this opening, Grandmaster Daniel King, and the other who is a big lover of this opening. So apologies to everyone for being slightly late. Uh, you know, there's just trying to get two people from different time zones together and everything is not simple. So thank you for being here. And uh, so many people are already have joined in close to a thousand people. And so before uh, we go live, I would just like to see the chat. Yeah, everyone's here. I hope sound and all is okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Let's get the man of the moment here. The one and only Daniel King. Hello, Dan. How are you? Uh, hi, I'm really well, Sagar. It's, it's uh, nice to chat again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really well. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day here in London. Uh, the, the sun is out. It's, it's early autumn. I'm feeling good. I'm looking forward to talking about the King's Gambit. Listen, Daniel King, that's my name. <laughs> I've got to I've got to show this opening that I love so much. So, Absolutely. And and I'm you know Dan, talk. you you're you know I I have told the viewers. I am your biggest fan when it comes to Power Play series since I was a young boy I was following them right from Power Play 1 and now Power Play 27 as we can see on the screen right now is about and, the and Kings 28 Gambit. and yes, 28. Yes. And also 28 it, so they both come together like it's like a toolbox king's gambit plus the tactics toolbox of the king's gambit exactly uh, yeah so basically 27 is the king's gambit repertoire so that'll give you some recommended lines to play in the king's gambit and then 28 is typical tactics in the opening and and hopefully that's what we're going to look at a little bit today so that people can get an idea of the kind of little tricks that you can throw at your opponent brilliant brilliant so that's going to be fun and your student is not going to be me today i would also learn from this but it's going to be one of india's very well-known stand-up comedians the young uh, and a chess lover as well samai raina uh, and you know he has fallen in love with the king's gambit since a few days and he's but, like the the moment someone plays e4 e5 he's like i have to go f4 and i need to and and when he was playing i was like yes he loves it he has a feel he's an attacker but he should fine tune his knowledge and no better person than you you know to to get him uh, to teach him listen i i will do my best <laughs> i'll do my very best um and and in any way, anyway it's just a fun opening to play Absolutely. And and the important thing is, it puts the fear of God into your opponents. Why would you say that? Oh, because it's you're throwing everything at your <laughs> opponent from the word go. So, you know, it, a lot of people when they play, for example, when you play e4, and they respond with e5, then I get the impression that a lot of these players, they like to play solidly you know, they're ready to play the black side of the Spanish, maybe the Berlin variation, something really dull. And then you hit them with the King's Gambit and they kind of go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the feeling. Many people don't even know how to react. But Dan, yeah. where is Samai? You know, it's been, it, the, we had scheduled it at 4.30. It's 4.45 now. It's already 15 minutes. I think um, it's it's very difficult. I mean, he's usually on time. Maybe uh, okay. I feel that uh, because he's not arrived yet and because he's such a King's Gambit lover, if you can, you know, use these magic words saying King's Gambit or something like that, Samai, I'm here for the King's Gambit, maybe he will join in. Well, maybe, maybe he's having a siesta. Maybe he's having a little afternoon sleep. We need to I wake him up. We need to wake him up. Samay, let's look at the king's gambit. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my oh my god! I'm so happy to be here, Daniel King. Big fan, big fan. 
and i'm so excited it's super excited by the way this is very dumb question but is the king's gambit named after you <laughs> i uh quite possibly quite possibly yeah yeah oh man i mean i i know i'm old but i'm not that old <laughs> 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 oh, I'm, I already have a feeling this is going to be such a fun session because you are like that proper, like fun-loving guy. I feel, and it's going to be awesome. And I'm very excited to learn from you. One well, thing I want to ask you first: What is behind that backdrop of yours? What is it hiding? The back, the backdrop. Oh, yeah, I've got, some, I've got some books here. I've got some books. What, what about that side? What about that side? Which, which side? Which side? Here? The left side. The left one. The left side. It, it, here. Yeah, yeah. Where, <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> behind the banner. Yes. Yeah, behind that. Yeah. Okay, well, you have to say the special word if I'm going to reveal what's behind there. What's behind there? I don't know. Uh, you have to say a special word to, to open it. <laughs> what it's is Gambit. It? Come on. Oh, it's Gambit. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Ooh, oh, guitar. Guitars. Oh, my God. It's yeah. like so. So the king's gambit is not the only thing that sort of is common between both of you. Both of you are guitar players. Wow. <laughs> okay, I've got I've got a bass guitar, my Fender Fender Precision bass, and this is um well, it's a copy of a Gibson. It's a cheap copy, is but the Fender one? is a, the Fender is a good instrument, but the, the that one is a cheap copy of a Gibson. But so what? So Sammy, what do you play? What do you play? I, I play the acoustic and I also used to play the electric. I never touched the bass, uh, but uh, I play a lot of blues. Oh, yeah, me too. Seriously. Yeah, yeah who's your favorite artist, like uh, guitarist? Oh. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I, okay, now this is going to be, this is ridiculous, but I like BB B. B. King. BB King, the thrill is gone. Yeah, blues B. B. Boy King, BB King. You, you know, the thrill is gone. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, BB King, Eric, have you seen the video? BB King, Eric Clapton, and all these guys just playing Thrill is Gone, 12 Bar Blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but do you know that the the clip on YouTube that I absolutely love is of BB King playing in, in a prison? Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Do, do I, you know this? I, I know I know I know what you're talking about. And uh, this I, the atmosphere, you know, the 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 guys they're sitting right in front of him and they're really close. And the atmosphere there, you can feel it's, um, you know, he gets a reaction straight away. And he sings this song. Uh, uh, the, the, the name of the video on YouTube, guys, if you're searching, it's uh, BB King called This His Best Performance. That's the name. Yeah, of yeah, the yeah, video. exactly. Yeah? That's, it, yeah. that's exactly the video I'm talking about. Baby. And he says, and he says, um, I let you, I let you live in my penthouse. Live in my penthouse. You said it, it was just a shack. Yeah. Um, I, I gave you a $10, I gave you a, a $10, $10 dinner. dinner. You said thanks for the thanks snack. The snack. And then, then he says, I gave you seven, seven children, children. And, and now you want to put them back. back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love that. Guys, shall, think... shall we schedule the King's Gambit for another session? This is so much fun. This is, this is, <laughs> this is so cool. Daniel, have, have you, have you heard Stevie Ray Vaughan? Yeah, yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, I used to, well, one of the, one of the bands I play in, um, we do a Stevie Ray Vaughan song. Ooh. Yeah, we do. Man, um, that's so awesome. I, I had no. Pride, I, we do Pride, pride and, and Joy. Pride and Joy. Good them, good them, good them, good them, good them. I like, it's got I, a, I, 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 that's one song that I love playing. It's, it's got a real, I think the, the rhythm is so, so steady. Yeah. I love that. And Mary Had um, a Little Lamb. Sorry? Have you heard Mary Had a Little Lamb by Stevie Ray Yeah, it's okay. It's not, not my favorite. The guitar solo is incredible, I mean. But you know, I saw B.B. King twice in concert. Ooh. Yeah, in a very long time ago, in, in the, about... I saw him once in 1983 and once in 1984 in London. Wow, that's that's awesome. I would. I would uh, he was. That. I tell you what, he was fantastic, and he had such a a great rapport with with the audience. He was amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. But so, so sorry, Sagar, we just no, no, no. Into... This is this is so amazing. Saga, man. Saga, <laughs> chess. What was this? No, this <laughs> is the real thing, bro. I I'm gone from the screen. People cannot see me anymore. You guys are 
you know it's it's so much fun i can see in the chat everyone saying music music base india you know dan it's like i had this series where i would uh, invite two couples to come here and share their love story because they were chess players and so oh. everyone started calling chess base india as love base india so today yeah. it's, <laughs> <laughs> today it's so become music now we've got, base we, we've no we've got blue space india <laughs> blue space india man ma you have to be the coolest uh, you know chess player ever like you are the coolest i've met so far oh man samay i'm glad you're... i'm glad you agree on this point because ever since i was a young kid like uh, like 14 years old i have been following daniel king's videos and uh, now you also are his fan so that's good oh. to know <laughs> Samay we should we should jam sometime definitely we and jam. we should exchange some music we should exchange some music yeah definitely wait so are, are you in mumbai as well no no i am in uh, hyderabad i was in mumbai then i uh, you know this covid situation happened and now i am yeah. in hyderabad with my parents okay uh, so it's like that you are in london right yeah 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 oh man we should once totally meet like on zoom call and we should just just talk music for like yeah, two yeah, hours yeah 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 well, at the, at the end of already <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this session if if yeah. samay learns king's gambit well maybe samay you need to play a song for dan oh sure, sure. yeah Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That'll be interesting. And then, then Dan, if you if you feel like okay, Samay is a good good enough to jam with, you can also join in. You know, we can decide. We can oh. see. <laughs> so, Dan is now a little bit. Funny. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the pressure now. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. So I'm very excited uh, for the King's Gambit. And uh, so, like you were mentioning about it, when you when someone when I play E4 and that person plays E5, it's like he's going for some solid boring chess. and then i hit him with the f you know f4 and then it's all madness from there and it's insane i just love i just love playing the kings yeah, yeah. i discovered it recently i was uh, around 1300 and now suddenly i'm 1600 oh really okay yeah. so so basically the did the the king's gambit that pushed you through the barrier totally totally it's really? just the king's gambit you, that's it like you, now you know, i hate playing with black uh, dan every yeah. morning i wake up and samay is awake the entire night and he sends me links to his games showing how he has checkmated his <laughs> opponents in like 20 moves or 15 really? moves and yeah and and he's playing just the king's gambit exclusively just, like e5 as a e4 even if you go c5 i go f4 like i just want to play e4 c f4 oh uh, well that, that's the thing if if you if you go e4 and they play c5 of course you can play the you know the grand prix attack Yeah, I I have heard the name, but I don't know how to play it. Okay, but it basically e four c five, you go knight c three. One second, should I should I bring a chess board on so yeah, that yeah, you please. guys can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll share my screen and adjust you guys on it. You know, one thing okay. that I hate the most when I go e four, it goes e five. I go f four, and then that guy goes d six. Oh no! Why do you hate that? Because that's really good fun. Ah, it's like Kings Gambit declined. Why would you decline? Just no, no, no! I tell you, because when the, when they play when they play that, then it gives you all the advantages wow. of the Kings Gambit. I think I'm going to learn so much today, man. Well, it gives you all the advantages of the Kings Gambit when the, when they decline with d6. Yeah. Except, great! You're not giving up material. Wow. <laughs> This. So I, like that, I, I can show you some games where that happened, and it's yeah, it's just really good fun. Um, hopefully, I can. I'm just looking through because I've got a list of games in front of me. Um, okay, but that? Dan, you are telling telling Samai now that you both are set here. Uh, you are telling about this uh, e4 c5. Uh, so just making the moves on the board e4 c5 knight c3. No, yeah, knight c three, yeah. And then, so, then you go well, f four, yeah. Here, of course, here, of course, black has a big choice. Well, it has a little choice. Normally, knight c six or d six, right? Yeah, mostly knight c six. Everyone goes. Yeah. So here we play f four. This is the equivalent of playing the king's gambit against the Sicilian. You, uh -huh. you've never played like this. I have, but what I do is I go e4. That guy goes c5. I go f4. That guy goes knight c6, and then I go knight c3. Okay. Well, let, let so go. If we can just go back to e4. If you play f4 here, 
The problem with this move order is that they play d5. I have encountered that, but then I just go e takes on uh, d5. He takes queen takes on d5. I develop oh, no, my no, knight. No, 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 not no. But this is the point. If they play queen takes, then you're doing well. Because you're right, knight c3, you gain a lot of time. It's good, but if you, but instead of queen takes, we go back and put the queen. In it. Knight f6 is a good move. So basically, what they're doing is they're not bringing their queen out, which loses a lot of time. Instead, playing knight takes d5, and then the problem is that that lone pawn on f4 it can't do much damage. And if, if white plays c4 here, this is a, a well-known line, then black simply plays e6. So, okay, white takes, bishop takes. This gives black really excellent compensation because you see, well, there you go, Saga's, Saga's got it. He's, that knight controls the d4 square. And, and these pawns on f4 and c4, mm -hmm. they're really ugly. They just it's, they block in the bishops. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So basically, if we if we go right back, this is it's very well known. So you, well, first of all, you play knight c three, and that controls the d five square. So when they play knight c six, sorry, uh, yeah, knight c six, knight c six, yeah. Then you play f four, and now we get this system, but you don't have to worry about d five. Do you see what why, I mean? Why now if d5? No. Then you just knight takes. with knight. Okay, then okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sim simply a, a pawn up for nothing. So basically, this basically mm. um just stops the counter d5. And then they play g6. I mean e6 is possible, but but g g6 is normal. Yeah, g6. So g g6 for black, then knight, knight f3. F3. Yeah. Bishop g7. Knight. Uh, bishop uh, c4. Okay, here you can play bishop c4, or bishop b5. I'm gonna recommend bishop b5 here. This is a very sneaky move. A6. Yes. <laughs> it's exactly what I want. That's the problem. <laughs> what was the problem? I don't see it. <laughs> okay, so we take on c6. Uh, b uh, I mean, no, d takes. Sorry, d takes. Okay. Yep. Oh, D take doesn't matter. Not doesn't matter which way. Okay, we'll play D three. Uh, bishop to G four. That's fine. Um, castles. And uh, maybe E. No, we can't go E five here. Yeah? We can't go E five. We'll go just uh, Knight F six. Sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna play. Okay. How am I gonna do this? Let me think. Queen E one. Yeah, Dan. Queen e1, yeah, queen h4. Yeah, instead of instead of, I mean, h3 of course is fine, but but queen e1 is maybe even better. Let's go queen. I like Sagar. I like your plan. Queen e1. Well, I learned it from you. I learned it from <laughs> your. <laughs> I learned from your e4 repertoire for white DVD. So okay, so, Sami, this this system it's it's called the Grand Grand Prix attack. Basically, the, there was um. Uh, uh, a circuit of weekend tournaments in uh, in England, where um, basically they crammed as much chess as possible into these weekends, um, and you had to play in order to do well. You had to play these kind of sharp systems and go for a quick attack, and this was incredibly popular. This this system with white with knight c three and f four, so it became known. As the Grand Prix, Grand Prix attack, attack. It's a real, real English speciality, um, and and even now you you see it. It's played still all over England. Objectively, okay, so is it good though? Like I mean, uh, many people have told me that uh, if you put this in the bar in the engine, then the bar doesn't favor white. Uh, do you know if you can you can do your head in by looking at what the computer says? I mean, particularly with the king's gambit. <laughs> if if you if you want to, um, you know, be discouraged, for example, from playing the king's gambit, then just don't just don't you know don't look at it with an engine. Basically, <laughs> it'll tell you that that black is just better. But this, I mean, the Grand Prix attack is 
proven to catch out so many people. But Sagar, can we just go to that position after Queenie One? Because I want to show Same the, the main idea. So if black castles. So you can see that white has this pawn structure, c2, d3, e4. So this is a really strong structure that kind of blocks black in the middle of the board and prevents a kind of counterattack. So what white is going to do now is play queen to h4. And then on the next move, play f5. And put the bishop on h6. And knight g5 and attack. <coughs> and this is very, very powerful. When you play a6, in fact, that's a big mistake. Yeah. This structure is is very poor for black. You know, you know, it's it's so interesting. We wanted to discuss the king's gambit, and we have we are into the Grand Prix. Should should we should we because this is also an aggressive system against the Sicilian, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Um, we can, maybe maybe uh, Sammy, maybe we, we can look at that in detail another time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can have another thing. By the way, Mahesh Parab says waking up. I think he's in the, uh, he is in the US so he writes waking up listening to discussion on blues music SRV BB King and chess Oof. the reason Man. I love chess base India big fan of Daniel oh nice guy <laughs> thank you and Rakshit Singh says doesn't the variations of Vienna game transpire to King's Gambit I discovered Vienna Gambit recently I love the opening if black goes for Fianchetto system then you can obviously push h4 and play like Divya Deshmukh. Yeah, I mean, e4, e5, knight c3 is definitely possible and later play f4. I think sure. that, uh, that's also a viable yeah. way to begin, yeah? Um, absolutely. I mean, I think the only thing is that after knight c3, knight f6, if you play f4 here, then d5 is quite a good counter. So actually, I... I recommend just going for the the straight king's gambit straight away. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, just looking through trying to find. Um, uh, and I, I, I had a doubt. Hmm. Uh, when I whenever I go through chess base in the how I play it is e4 e5 f4. Yeah. Uh, if e takes on f4. Yeah. I I go knight f3. Yeah. Good. And uh, then let's say. Uh, What's the theory? Uh, he goes uh, d6, Fisher's defense. Oh, d6. No, that's... D Sorry, can I just break in there very quickly? Yeah, yeah. Please, please. Because so many people uh, contact me and say, oh, Fisher's defense, you know, he published an article in 1960... I can't remember, 63 or something, saying that this is the refutation of the King's Gambit. And actually, King's Gambit's experts nowadays think that this is uh, one of the variations which actually offers white very nice chances. It does? Yeah, really. Okay, so, but Sammy, tell me, tell me exactly what the, the issue is. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, then I, uh, or maybe let's say not uh, d6, if he goes g, g5, let's say that's more. Okay, g, g instead, yeah? Yeah, yeah g5 instead. I, I just go uh, bishop c4, right? No, in or this position. D four. No, no, no. Instead of bishop c four. Um, you know, so, Dan. Uh, this is uh, what Samai played against Magnus Carlsen when he came on his stream. So it was Samai and Vidit versus Magnus Carlsen and Abhishek Upmanyu, who is also a stand-up comedian. And he, uh, uh, they played g four, and uh, yeah. Samai and Vidit went castles and played this Muzio gambit against the world champion. Okay, this this is good. This is good for white. Yeah, I don't know. So my actually my doubt was after this uh, here should I play h four or no, should no, I no. just go actually, because in chess base India in sorry in the app of chess base whenever I see these uh, this position it always says h four. Um, whenever I play h four, I lose. Yeah, well, 
okay, then that sounds like a good reason not to play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but in here, right, this the white has quite a big choice here. So you can h4 is called the Kizaritsky. And personally, I've never liked playing that with white, although many people do play that. There's bishop c4. I tell you the problem with bishop c4 is not g4, because g4, after g4, I think white has very good attacking chances. Mm -hmm. But instead of g4, it's better for black to play bishop g7 and play very solidly here. And actually, for example, after d4, um, here, h6, and it's actually, once black protects the pawn on f4, it's actually very hard for white to, to break through this pawn structure. This is the problem. So if we, Sagar, if we just go back, instead of bishop c4, the move I recommend is knight c3. Okay. And g4? Now, excuse me? Sorry, and for, for g4? Yeah, here's the point. So after g4, knight e5. Ah. So in, in, in playing g4, you can see that, in a sense, black is taking a big risk. Because now the pawn on f4 and the pawn on g4 are vulnerable. Now, there's, there's a really funny variation here. Of course, the critical move here is to play queen h4 check. Okay, this okay. is scary. Okay, so what do you do here then? Uh, at g g3, you can't do g3. 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 Oh, you play g3. We play g3, absolutely. Take yeah, yeah. Takes. Queen knight. Take... No, no, queen, queen takes g4. Oh, but, the... but there are... There is a dangerous move. Of, like, he can make another queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here, many players have fallen. Okay, now just keep this quiet. <laughs> yeah, just, just 4,000 people are watching that. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Because <laughs> this, is, this is a really juicy trap. This is really juicy. <laughs> okay, so here, if G2 check... Okay, so we take the queen and pawn takes. Now, we are a rook down, yeah, now. White is a rook down, but here, white is winning by force. Mm. Can, can, okay. we guess, can we guess? Can we guess? Oh, no, please, Samo, over to you. White to play, white to play and win. And there are some beautiful, beautiful tactics here. Wow. This, this is really great. This, this is so amazing, you know, when, when I used to watch Power Play, it used to be Dan saying, please pause the video and try okay. to think now. And I would pause the video and think. And here, he's here, he's telling, no need to pause, please think now, I'm here. This is the best day. This is, this is nice, I like this. So, white to play and win. Because look, Black's queen is completely shut out of play. Okay, so white white play. Um, I can't think of. I'm thinking checks capture threats. Okay, good. Uh, so the uh, queen d8 check doesn't work because king takes, and then knight f7 you just win a rook, nothing much. Uh, and queen e7 check is pointless. So let's see captures. Knight takes on f7. I have, uh, and I have knight takes on d7. Knight takes on d7 doesn't work. Knight takes on f7. I still can consider because black does not have a check here. So if king takes the knight. Um, yeah, but but I think there's, there's no need to sacrifice here. Okay, is it uh, then just queen f4 with the idea queen f7 mate? Okay, we're getting close. There's actually a stronger move than... Oh, is it queen h5 with the same idea? Queen h5, because if you play queen f4, then they, they, they can play uh, f6 and then I think they survive. But if we play queen h5, they don't have that defense. Oh, so how do you defend that then? Oh, knight h6, yeah, only move. Okay, knight h6, only move to defend. Okay, now, Same, over to you again. Okay. Uh, 
you do you go night no you can't go i was thinking night d5 but yeah maybe e4 is hanging yeah yeah we can't take that okay do we just go d4 over here d4 <laughs> nice, exactly nice nice oh And... okay wow. so how exactly is black going to defend this um how about d6 trying to attack the knight on e5 okay d6 very good it's the only the only possible move okay samay over to you okay so now if white takes on h6 i will take the knight on e5 yeah <clears throat> okay but but okay okay keep going keep going okay bishop takes h6 pawn takes yes. e5 exactly and then we have queen to e5 check <laughs> very nice and then king d7 we have oh do we have knight d5 here uh okay knight d5 that's interesting i i suspect there's quite a few winning moves in this position there's also uh, knight knight d5 looks looks really strong yeah yeah because if bishop takes bishop then it's mate in a couple of moves yeah yeah very nice brilliant brilliant and oof and if he goes bishop e7 here samay okay if bishop e7 then though it's just uh, bishop g5 right uh maybe that's all but then there's knight c6 no knight c okay we're getting something yeah so no you just take the rook yes, you just yes, take the rook exactly room. exactly keep it simple yeah, yeah. and Because then king all... yeah go on no there's nothing king d7 uh, and then it's already very bad for black no Yeah. Well, okay. Let, let's keep going. Of course, it's it's very bad for black. But what would your next move be? Hmm. Uh, long castle. Yeah. Exactly. Very, very nice. good. Oh, Because you can see that white is so well coordinated now, and yeah. well, is even even one pawn up, and I mean black's position is a car crash. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Man. Yeah. You know, Daniel, this I think I I was thinking you were talking about the line where you, uh, I think it's called Halloween's Gambit, uh, where knight takes on f7 and uh, pulls out the king. Is it in the same opening? Is it in the same thing where after uh, let's say yeah after uh, g4? So knight so knight c3 here. Yeah, yeah knight g4. e5. Yeah. And after the check of queen. Yeah, yeah, g3. You go g3. You take. Yeah, queen g4. And uh, no, uh, here do you is there any line where you go knight f7? Mm, not not in not in this particular variation. I mean of course there are there are related variations that where a knight takes f7 sacrifice is possible, but here do you know black's best? I mean g2 check is is actually just losing by force. Mm. He can take the, the best, queen, right? Yeah. The best is to exchange queens. But actually so knight takes And here, pawn takes pawn. Rook rook takes. Actually, white is a pawn down, but has very nice compensation. Because black's pawns are split on on the king's side. And there's no development. Development is poor. Yeah. So wow. actually, um, you know, this this end game is is actually quite pleasant for white. Um yeah maybe bishop c4 but you know for let's say that black plays uh knight c6 well here already it's possible i mean one could play knight d5 hmm. yeah knight knight d5 exactly and try to mess you mess up to go to d8 black king yeah <laughs> then we then we go just go d4 maybe or d3 d3 just d3 in fact it's not necessary to develop the 
Yeah, that's nice. C2 is protected. It's not necessary to develop the bishop on f1 yet, because probably this will come out either g2 or h3. But also, you know, white wants to bring out the king's bishop. Uh, not the, 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 I beg your pardon, the queen's bishop. Yeah. So it's somewhere along this diagonal. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that, that looks, looks quite nice. Uh, can I just show you um, a funny, a funny, another funny little trap in this variation? Where yeah, this is this is too good. You know, I used to always think that after g4, you should just go uh, bishop uh, c4 and play the muzio. But now after this, you showed me this line. I think I'll play this. This is much much better. Good man. Give it give it a try. So uh, Dan, I... if just to yeah. make sure that after h5, if he tries oh. to defend the pawn, uh... good good thought. Yeah. Well, okay. This is interesting because now. Bishop c4, maybe? Or no? Yeah, I'm wondering whether we can play quite brutally here. Because here, actually, I would... Okay, after bishop c4, then knight h6. And here... I think it, it's probably a good idea to play uh, d4. And we have to be very bold here. And after d6, well, here is where I would want to sacrifice. Now, yeah, nice. I, I'm, either, I'm not sure which is best, either knight f7 or or taking on f4 with bishop f4. I don't know which is best. In both cases, and now bishop takes e5. Okay, rook uh, g8. Maybe f6. Ah, uh, maybe f6, yeah. Okay, bishop f4. Ah, so, you, so you just give up a piece and play this position. Yeah, just play this. Because uh -huh. here, black's position is just a wreck, actually. And I think white can play quite steadily here yeah. um, with queen d2, castle's king side, maybe castle's queen side, and actually just push through the middle, play on the f file. You, you want to get in e5 soon. Actually, white's development is so, so um, far in advance of black's. I think white is doing very well, actually. What happens? Just, uh, just uh, curious. What happens if yeah. you sack the knight like two moves, three moves earlier, like I, right, right yeah. here? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, right, right here. Play uh, saga. What was the next move? Yeah. Okay, but instead of instead of bishop c4, I agree. It's also possible to play d4 here. And if d6, then just take. Then just take on f7 exactly. And king yeah. takes not this time. So king takes and, like... and bishop f4. Yeah. This is. This this better? is Absolutely, this is, I think, very promising for white, because, uh, well, for exactly the same reasons as as in the last position, I think white has such a lead in development, um, and you know, bishop c four, castles king side. Um, it it it's, well, I think in practice this is really an overwhelming attack for white actually. Yeah, so, so so he cannot case, make. I, I completely agree. Knight f7, I think, is really really strong. Mm. So the fact that Black made so many pawn moves can be uh, sort of punished by giving up a piece at the right moment and uh, getting a lead in development. Def that's exactly it. Okay, yeah. this has changed so much for me. This simple move, knight to e6, e5. This has changed so much for me. Though. Yeah. Okay. By the way, I should say that the reason that knight c3 is played here. It's about discouraging the move d5. Because d5 is often the move that black will play to give up a pawn, get quick development. Here, after d5, of course, we can just play knight takes. And, and you know, it's no problem. 
Can I just show you that there's a, there's a very nice little trap. Sure. So in this variation with the uh, where Black gets the, the the new queen on h1, I just want to show you a, a little something. So knight c3, g4, knight e5, check. Okay, takes queen e7. Yeah, and okay, queen. So queen h5. Now here, this has happened in a few games. After um, bishop here, Black has tried bishop e7 in a few games. Now, surprisingly, the best move, in fact, is not to take on f7 with the queen, but instead to play knight takes f7. And there's a, a rather devilish reason why knight f7 is to be preferred. So let's pose Ooh. that... Oh, okay. So I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this move, yes? Exactly. So okay. knight f6 so. is the obvious move, right? Okay, so Same, over to you. There's a double, I can see a double check of knight d6. Uh huh. Uh, and after that, if you go. Oh, this is mother <laughs> mid. Yes. Right? Yeah, knight d6, king d8, queen f8. Wow, rook takes and then knight f7 mid. Wow. Same, you're learning fast, man. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Very quick. This is brilliant. Man. Well done. This is it, my favorite kind of a checkmate. This I have only managed to do this, you know, smothered mate once in my whole life, and I'm so proud of it because it feels so nice that Black is checkmating himself, and you just require a knight. That's all you require. <laughs> Look at that queen on H1. <laughs> but, I know it's it's beautiful, but you know, I don't know if you saw recently. There's this uh, new paper, um, academic paper published by Deep Mind, uh, who are. Um, yeah, exactly. And, and DeepMind, um, you know, they're part of part of Google now. Uh, but they were looking into chess variants and evaluating rule changes in chess. And Saga, if you put the position where it's checkmate, and, and one of the rule changes they had was self-captures. And someone on my YouTube <laughs> channel said, oh, God, do you know what? I hate self-captures because here you'd spoil the beauty of your smothered mate because black can just play king takes yeah or king Anything. takes pawn or yeah. king, king and, and escape a scuffle, discover a, a smothered mate so king takes c7 or king takes d7 is possible anyway that's oh, that's just fantasy yeah. such a nice <laughs> such a nice mate i think i think someone is developing the, those variants right yeah, uh, they're, yeah. Devel yeah they're developing king variants yeah, yeah where pawns can also go backwards and stuff like that yeah yeah um okay some are there are there any other um variations yeah. of the king's yeah. gambit which are maybe problematic or you'd like to know something about yeah this is this <laughs> exactly you know what happens when when someone pushes d5 i just do this and i'm like should i resign you know it was a bad <laughs> thing it was i shouldn't have played a four what's wrong with me because yeah. i really don't know how to play this uh, fog bear gambit okay um so a couple of things. I think th this variation, I, I agree with you. If you're a little bit um, hazy about the theory, then this is extremely dangerous. And I think, you know, as I mentioned before, I think this this move D5 is a very natural response uh, for black to the king's gambit because you're breaking in the center. But... The good news is that if you know the theory, it's actually pretty well known to be quite good for white. Okay. So this is one of those variations where you, you've just got to know it, basically. And, and there are sometimes a few tricky moves to, to know. So first of all... Is it, is it too complicated? No, it's not too complicated. We'll, we'll, we'll crack this. Have faith. Have faith. Okay. <laughs> for, first, first of all... The big trap, of course, is if pawn takes pawn on e5, queen h4 check wins on the spot. Yeah. Okay, we, we know this. I yeah. have known this the hard way. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's very candid of you. 
Um, okay, so e takes d5. Now, e4. This pawn on e4 is a pain in the neck. Nice. We've got we've got to get rid of it. Otherwise, we can't develop our pieces. Okay, so how do you how do you break down this pawn? How do you get rid of the pawn? Can you uh, can you go to knight c3 defending the pawn also attacking this pawn? It's possible, but there's a better move. Oh. Simply d3. D3. Really, Dan? I I was also under the impression that knight c3 is the is the best move. Oh, D3. D, D3 is the best move. Okay. But if queen takes? Queen takes, then we have knight c3. Ah, you will. And, and does this make sense now? Well, it's possible, but... Um, well, there's a couple of moves. I mean, you could just play... I mean... BD2, to be yeah? Honest, no, no one has ever played this against me, but, but either queen e2 or... I, I guess bishop d2, yeah, bishop d2. Must must be the simplest because after bishop takes bishop takes, then already well, whose development has been helped? Yes. White's development. Actually, this is already problematic for black. I think. Yeah. Yeah. True. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. I uh, can't. I like if you go knight f6. Yeah. And okay. you take take. What's like the problem? Okay, let's let's have a think what the best is. Um, mm, maybe queen e2? Yeah, I'm wondering about bishop g4 then, but I guess queen e3. Ah. Yeah, okay, let's play queen e2. Okay, uh, anything. I mean, uh, bishop uh, f5. Mm-hmm. Okay, we we're getting to that that crazy moment when I want to go queenside. <laughs> ah, long castle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but uh, a two is hanging, so I need to be. How cautious do we need to be? Can you just go knight uh, f three here? Oh, sweet. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Then okay, this is interesting, but to be honest, I'd like to kind of rewind here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because after knight f after takes takes bishop bishop c three bishop c three knight f six. Um, I think the simplest is to play bishop takes f six. Ah yes, go into the end game, yeah. And now, we could just go into the end game, yeah, because black structure is terrible, and now queen e two. Okay. Three three six three. Three six okay. Still like an equalish endgame, right? No. I I I look at the the double death pawns and um yeah I'd be very happy with white. Yeah. That's the problem, right? Since I'm very low rated, I have I have to then again study and I my entire reason I play the king's gambit is I don't want to go to the end game. I just want to you know do something <laughs> beautiful in the mid game and like you know just that's it like twenty five moves and the game is done. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, to be honest, no one plays queen d5. <laughs> After d3, the main move is... Because, I mean, to me, queen d5 just looks very strange to bring the queen out so early. The main move here is knight f6. And then we play pawn takes pawn on e4. And knight takes e4 for black. And now knight f3. This is the main line. Isn't bishop c5 scary? It's it's uh, one of the main moves. Let's play it. Bishop c5. And now we play queen e2. So this, this is the main, main line. Don't, don't worry. Queen e2. And now we're begging for them to play bishop f2. King d1. This this is fantastic for white because now if they play queen takes d5 check, okay, Samo, over to you. What's the best way to block the check? Oh, uh, just knight d2. A uh, which knight? Uh, the knight on b1. No, no, no. No, no. Other one. Other one. Why? Okay, let's work out why. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, first, first of all, white is a threat to play queen e4, right? Yeah. Winning a piece. Okay. So what happens if black plays bishop f5? Now what? Now we go knight uh, b c1 c3. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Oh, that's the reason. Got it. So basically, we've yeah. Got it. It's re yeah. it's really subtle. I I really like this tactic. Very so nice. the queen the queen has to move, and then we just play knight c3 takes e4 and you're a piece up. I mean, so yeah, like it's clear that this is a lot of theory that I have to remember. Yeah, but but this is a this is a very old trap actually. So bishop f2 is simply a mistake, but queen e2 is correct, and now bishop f5 for black to defend the knight. Okay, now over to you. What's what should white play here? Again, uh, knight uh, b c three. Uh, knight c three, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, knight c. There's only one knight. Yeah. Yeah. So with, in fact, it's quite forcing because now you're threatening to play knight takes knight. So you go queen e two e seven to save it. Queen e seven is a, actually a force move. It's the only move. I just want to tell the viewers that in this case, castles does not work because after yes. takes, takes, and rook e8 trying to win this, there is knight e5, yes? Exactly, yeah. And uh, yeah. And here, if f f6? Okay, over to you. What would you play? <laughs> okay, uh, queen uh, c4 doesn't work, no? Yeah, this in fact, I think it's you should just continue with your development. Okay, checks, captures, threats, threats, the threats part of the. Okay, uh, we have bishop uh, b5. Okay, interesting. Uh, also, also interesting. Yeah, I'm personally, I would just think about. Castling queenside. But but how about this move? Trying to... Bishop d3, exactly. Threaten a mate. Ah, threatening a... Is it a mate though? I mean, but it's dangerous. Yeah, but so black has to play g6. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty dead, deadly. And then... Okay, we just need to develop. Bishop d2. And if f takes e5... Yeah, castles queenside. <laughs> Uh, is is castling a short a problem because then your rook is on f file already? Yeah, bishop ah, c. You can't castle. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, instead of castles queenside, the move that I really like is to play f five. Mm -hmm. Keeping it closed. Yeah. Exactly. It, positionally, it feels right to to do this. Nice. But, so again, basically, you are sacking a piece for rapid development. Well, we're returning the piece actually. Oh, we are already gotten a piece. Yeah, yeah. Ah, we're cool. taking a piece right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we could afford to give it back. Okay, yeah. so so castles is just fine for white. Okay, so queen e seven is is basically forced. Now, what's the best move for uh, white here? I know it looks very strange to have the queen on e two. Is it uh... bishop on f one? But actually, this it's very well known to to be better for white. Uh, is it a knight g5 or maybe knight e5? No. No. Uh, but what's the problem with knight g5 with the idea of take? Oh, so you know, uh, knight, the, is knight is not pinned. Yeah. Knight is not pinned. Knight, yeah. knight is pinned. Okay, so sorry. Yeah. Uh, knight takes. Okay, then you just go. Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but knight takes on e4. Let's say. Oh, no, but if, if bishop takes, then I had uh, queen b5 check, picking up the... No, it's protected uh, by the... Protected no. Yeah. Do you know what? Here, you're, you're, you're trying to, to move the same pieces again. Your, your pieces, the, the, the knights c3 and f3 are developed. Okay. So just bishop e3? Bishop e3. Very nice. Exactly. Okay. So basically what we're doing is white white is a pawn up here. 
if black starts exchanging pieces then that's good news that's good for us yeah 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 and knight g3 doesn't work here yeah knight g3 you just take h into g3 bishop e3 and yeah it doesn't look great as such uh i guess maybe knight we Should yeah, be. I guess ninety five looks fine. Yeah, but after knight g three, there's there's also um, ah there's bishop, bishop c five. Oh yeah. yes, yes, yes. We are also attacking the queen, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. In fact, this is transposing to a another variation. Um, I mean, I think th this looks very pleasant for white. Okay, let me let me just say what the main move is here. So the main move is actually knight takes c3. Oh. And then we play bishop takes c5. Uh, okay, and if queen takes? Queen takes which? <laughs> Can't take this because it's pinned. Yeah, queen takes queen. Bishop takes, yeah, obviously. And then knight takes on d5. Oh. Ah, you want to take your... Yeah, Yeah, I mean... But maybe long castle now. Yeah, long castles, I think... But then knight takes f4 also then? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, long castles. Now you can see black's king is caught in the middle, actually. That bishop on c5 is a, a very strong piece. So here, I wonder if we could play, well, let's just play rook e1, bishop b5 also, but, but let's just play rook e1, because how, how is the king going to escape? This looks like a lot of fun for white to me. Yeah, yeah. even without yeah. the queen, sometimes the attacks can be deadly. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That bishop is too strong. Yeah. Yeah, so I just have to remember this theory for this. And okay. uh, one last doubt in this, uh, unless you have something to add on to this. No, I was just, I was just going to say, this is the point. I mean, some of these moves feel a little bit unnatural. And so I think it probably is a good idea to, this is one of those variations where sadly you need to, you can't kind of play by feel. Yeah. You, know, you have to know these, these moves quite precisely. Um, however, it helps when you see, I, I, I always think that the, the best way to remember these lines is to by looking at a complete game. And there are actually a couple of really famous games in this line. So there's a game between uh, Bronstein and Tal. Oh. So Bronstein, Did of course, Bronstein beat Tal? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, man. In, in, in exactly this variation. And Bronstein, of course, was well a, a, a legendary chess player, but he loved playing the king's gambit and had some spectacular wins and i think tal <laughs> was a very generous man and a, and a generous chess player and i think he wanted to it's almost like giving bronstein a present he said okay i'll let you play the king's gambit <laughs> and i'll play something really sharp and let's let's, let's have see some what fun. happens <laughs> yeah you know tal i, I think he he was a great man, and and I think this is exactly why he did it. And Bronstein beat him. I wonder. I, I wonder if I can find the game actually, um, because it's it's a really it's a really I'm sure I sure I can find it. It's a really nice game. Uh, meanwhile, uh, so sorry. Uh, I just want to ask uh, Sagar is uh, in the opening stage of this, like on the fourth fifth move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Here is uh, yeah, after takes. Uh, is e fourth his only move? Mm, good question. Um, I think there is also e takes f4 perhaps in this. E position. takes f4, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. E takes f4. And now we play knight f3. Okay, and queen takes, with the, then we go knight, uh, then we go d4. Queen takes, then of course we, we can gain time with knight c3, knight c3. And, and that's fine. Yeah. All right. Got it. Okay, this this is really frustrating because I, I I would love to show you this. I game. can find it. I can find it. By the way, Dan, there's a super chat yeah. from Abhishek RS who says, 
can you please give a shout out to divya deshmukh's father jitendra deshmukh they are big fan of yours since she was 5 and she wanted to give a shout out as a gift to father uh, you know divya is one of our top uh, female like uh, young stars of indian chess she is now uh, you know she was part of the gold medal winning team and when she, she was she young had, sorry yeah she had this game in the last in the yes. last round that was disconnected yes when when she had the bishop on c2 exactly at the king. and yeah, and yeah, you yeah, analyze yeah. this move knight c5 and all of that and i told divya that uh, that daniel king has analyzed this game and she was like what daniel king has analyzed my game because yeah. she has been watching all the videos since she was very young of course she's still just 14 or 15 years old so very young but oh cool okay well shout, shout out to divya definitely yeah <laughs> I, and and well and really well played in in the olympiad um excellent yeah enjoyed that game i would i would like to have seen what what you were thinking after night c5 <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i am trying to find this game of bronstein versus oh this Bram. is good uh bronstein tal let me see man sagar i feel i've really improved you know yes 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 i also feel like today you are uh on fire no 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 let me sagar if you show me the list and i'll i'll be able to find the game yeah which year was it 10 right so i'll i'll just sort it by all the 10s no, no. yeah 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 uh with bronstein winning so wait a second c try c32 let me let me see see this one yes that is the one this is the game yes. okay let's just have a very quick look at this so okay let's uh let's just see the 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 move order carefully let me just uh, save this analysis okay yeah okay okay all as advertised yeah step 3 bishop okay queen e2 okay bishop f5 knight c3 same what we just discussed queen e7 exactly bishop, bishop e3. e3 actually actually saga you should put it on training mode ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then sami you should maybe try, <laughs> see if you can remember no i remember it later now uh, we just go bishop takes uh, bishop takes on c5 and uh, okay uh, bishop takes sorry about that uh now from here it was in this position we have a completely new game <laughs> okay right so here i think the bishop the bishop has to go back to a3 right a3 uh, yeah a3 uh, or maybe even uh, uh, b4 but yeah a3 a3 let's put it back so let's see see now i can't remember the game either yes he played bishop a3 knight d7 um bishop uh b5 possible he I long suspect. castled yeah he just castled yeah rook e1 maybe rook e1 he'll go f5 i don't know. played knight g5 okay takes oh Oh man, this was wow. <laughs> this was not expected, yeah. To give up the rook. Okay, so now already we have quite a, a strange position on the board with this bishop on h1. I'm sorry, who's white? Uh, Bronstein. Uh, Bronstein is white. Black is Tal. So uh, he, this move by Bron Bronstein uh, reminds us as if Tal is playing from the white side. Yeah, like yeah, that, that, that's why I got the okay. <laughs> who's, who's... Okay, but Bronstein also oh, yeah, equally, had, had equally this yes, incredible style. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, really creative. And he generates this extraordinary attack. Ooh, Ooh. 94. Wow. This is pinned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's uh, he's attacking so well. 
in the sort of with with these minor pieces and a rook oh and, and i guess he wants to shift his bishop from b2 mm. yeah 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 that's nice wow you i got you called it <laughs> And now the material is even, but he's two pawn, three pawns down. Uh. Okay. Yeah, and he resigned. Game, game, yeah, game over. So I mean, a completely wild game. Wow. But I think that. The, the first 10 moves where white gets to bishop e3, if you're secure on those 10 moves and you really understand those, then actually the fork bear isn't too much of a problem. But you have to know those kind of really, the in and outs of those first few moves. Yeah. Because uh, there are little nuances, little, little tricks, you know, little sidelines. So if you're but if you're secure with those, actually, the fault bear, theoretically, it's simply better for white. Actually, mm. it, 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 it's I always find it reassuring to know that because I agree with you. D five does feel very scary. Yeah. But um, well, let me show you a here. <laughs> when I was a kid. Uh, and I was started playing the King's Gambit. I had this book. I don't know if you can see yes, that. Yes, you can see. But uh, yeah. what's the author's name? Victor Korchnoi. Uh, oh. Victor Korchnoi and uh, Vladimir Zak, who I think was his trainer for a while. Okay. So this was this was like the holy word for me. <laughs> um, and you know, I simply learned the theory of this. Because uh, there are actually some very, very old games with with the fault bear counter gambit, mm. um, and the, the, frankly, the the theory hasn't changed much. Okay. Okay. For you know, forty or fifty years, and actually, I won so many games with this line. If you know it, actually, this is one of the the lines against the king's gambit, which is actually quite secure for white <laughs> I, I can't say the same about all the all the, the lines for the king's gambit actually hmm. um, i mean you can always you can have fun with the king's gambit um but some of the lines are a little bit dubious but this one's actually good for white okay cool Got it. can i can i i, I somebody, i'd like to show you a disaster <laughs> from, sure. from white or from black from, from from white's point of view oh. uh, and one of my disasters because when i started playing this as a kid i i remember playing against quite an experienced player in fact he was quite an old man when i played him but he was a former british champion a, a chap called alan phillips well he's not he's not very well known but obviously a you know a decent player so he won the white british championship in the 1950s yeah phillips yeah okay so e4 e5 is there an s here D double l ips oh no now i'm now i'm recording oh this is a disaster why <laughs> now it's recorded for all time okay <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> okay e, e4 e5 mm -hmm. f4 i thought Do you remember okay, the check. entire game not the entire game just the the first few moves oh. um because i wanted to i wanted to forget the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> okay so so no no well black black like probably... well, yeah black no black i was watch. going to take this yeah then black plays one so <laughs> So he played knight f6. He was a very... Oh, that's yeah. a new line. I mean, a new line for today. Sa Same, have you ever had this? Yeah. I just go f5 with this. f5? No. This is hanging. Yeah. 
Okay, you you no, need no no so sorry. I uh, I have encounters with my knight is at c3, then I go f5. So here I would just take. Yeah, take. Okay, so knight knight e4. Okay, now what would you do? Um, let's see. Knight f3. Yeah, absolutely. You have to prevent queen h4 check. So right, and then, well, I mean here I thought okay, I mean I'd never seen this before. I mean. It looked very strange, like I'm going to play d3 and d4 and my bishop out to c4. It and then looks he played... very good for white, yeah, right now. Yeah, absolutely. Then he played knight g5. <laughs> okay, over to Samay, over to you. What would you play? Okay, uh, I would just play d4. Good move. Well done. What did you play? Okay, I played bishop c4. So oh! I got to say I gotta say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the problem with because I thought, okay, what's he doing? I'm gonna castle kingside. I'm gonna mate him on the F file. What's he up to? Okay, Sammy, what what's the problem? <laughs> Knight takes on F3 with check. Yes. Uh, if pawn takes, then you have queen uh, H4 check. So queen has to take, and then you. Still have queen h4 check and you go g3, but this time your bishop is hanging. Oh no, <laughs> did this happen? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you this so you don't have to fall into it. Yeah, yeah. I, I will never fall into this. Okay, <laughs> you know, there's one trap I really like. It's, I don't know if it's the trap, it's like when someone plays Fisher defense, uh, when someone plays uh, e4, e5. Uh, yeah, and then then you no no then you take sorry, you take Saga you, uh, you just take e4 yeah knight f3. knight f3 and then you go d6 the Fisher defense, yeah. and then you go bishop c4, okay and they go bishop g4 they they pin the knight, so Sagar uh, uh, I think is this it? Uh, maybe maybe here it doesn't work I think you you want no, to no, take no. on f7 yes yeah okay, I want to no, take on f7. I yeah. think that, that works well. Ah, uh, it will work here. Uh, some maybe if this no, it doesn't. Hmm. No, no, where does it work? It works. I do that a lot. I think I already. Maybe it doesn't take then. Yeah, maybe it doesn't take. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Maybe yeah. d d six knight f three. Knight f three. Bishop, Bishop here. No, no, first knight. First knight. For first he develops his knight, knight f6. Hmm. Then you go bishop c4, and then he comes with the pin. Ah. And here, it doesn't work now. <laughs> it doesn't work, man. I, I don't know what I do. No, I do it something. works, it works, maybe. Yeah, he, he's, this he's, works? Yeah. He's, yeah. Okay, it's, there, are, there are lots of, of course, <laughs> lots of variations of this. Can I, can I just go back to that variation with knight g5? Yes. So, uh, so yeah, basically, I, I uh, lost the sorry, knight I lost the piece in in like five moves or something. That that was uh, not a promising um, debut for the king's gambit. Um, but here, in fact, um, Fisher played this as white, and you played like Bobby Fisher. Oh, Fisher played d four. He played wow. d four. Okay, and this was a game against um, a British player called Bob Wade. And the game went knight, knight f3, queen, queen f3, yeah, queen h4 check. Oh, you're losing the spawn? No, 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 queen, queen f2. Ah, okay. Queen f2. Okay, here, black needs to break down the, the pawns. So I think I think it went knight c6, c3, d6, pawn takes, bishop takes. Basically, white is better here because of this central control. What would you play here? As white? Yeah. I would play... Uh, probably bishop c4. Yeah, or maybe, yeah, bishop c4. I mean, bishop b5 is an idea, but then you just castle and there's nothing. 
my idea with bishop c4 is that i'll some point go rook f1 king g1 and then you know double attack that pawn on f7 yeah maybe do you know what it's actually not clear where your bishops go in this position yeah it can go even on d3 for that matter yes yeah but it's not clear what the best squares are so what i i've given you a massive clue um so you don't so know where your bishops are to be developed. Okay, that's the clue. Yeah. So that means you don't develop the bishop at all. Is that the clue? So do you go knight d2? Let's think. Or do you go knight d3? Or do you just go? Yeah, knight, uh, just knight d2. That's it? Yeah. Because basically, the knight has no alternative. It it can only go to d2 and then it needs to go somewhere else we still don't know where the, the bishops are going to go yeah so but also if we can bag one of black's bishops then that is a big prize so bishop e6 i'm pretty pretty sure uh yeah it was it was i've, I've okay it was bishop b6 and knight e4 So if we can take that bishop, then that's good news. Um, bishop e7 and knight g5. <laughs> you keep pursuing so we, the bishop, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We want to take a bishop. So bishop takes. And if bishop d5 here or bishop f5, that's okay? Uh, then you go bishop uh, b5 and then you go rook e1. Why, why can't we play c4? Yeah, c4 looks strong c4 okay just traps the bishop sort of because d5 is coming up yeah. yeah so it went bishop takes okay now white is simply better because of the two bishops mm. in, in a sense you know this isn't about calculation you just grab the two bishops and then you play yeah well bishop better advantage. yeah yeah i mean fisher won an absolute model game it's a it's a really really good end game so yeah, yeah. It, sadly we can't always checkmate with the king's gambit <laughs> but but actually but most of the times i just love <laughs> i i have success with it at my level probably it's easier okay yeah i think uh dan what you have actually helped sama is with his, some of his doubts that he already had but also when people figure out that he's going to play king's gambit and come a little bit prepared He's also prepared with some theoretical because right now it's all fresh and people are making mistakes. But at some point, people will know. Okay, he's playing the king's gambit and play good lines. Then, mm. then he has to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. I mean, there are there are lots more kind of tricks and traps that I could show you. Um, but I mean, you mentioned you mentioned that um, a lot of your opponents play d6. After f4. Yeah, uh, that's what I was going to come for. Uh, that, okay, this is all the lines that we saw when the King's Gambit is accepted. My main concern is with people who don't, I just block them on chess.com. I just, I just don't, <laughs> I, I don't want to look at them again. <laughs> just accept the Gambit, man. <laughs> you know, I, I hear when someone plays d6. I mean, what do you do? Or let's say, even for that matter, knight c6. If, you, if someone just declines the Gambit. Okay, so same thing. Okay, just knight f3 you you know dan today i was doing this improving chess with uh like there's some my but there are three more comedians uh in that stand-up comedians yeah. and one of them suggested this adelaide gambit with f5 and i was like wow this looks very interesting have you seen this before yeah yeah absolutely i i analyzed this on my uh my my dvd okay okay yeah maybe, maybe we can look at that another time because that's but but in general, I, I don't think most most players won't play that against you, right, Sami? I've never encountered this. And please, Sagar, don't don't promote <laughs> it. Do not promote this line. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reach seventeen hundred. <laughs> if I ever see anyone playing like this, Sagar, I'm going to come for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's absolutely just just keep keep that keep the lid on <laughs> you know, you know what happened then he used what? to play the sicilian if somewhere with black 
and then he used to play the kalashnikov always like with black pieces he would play e5 and all his all his opponents would take knight into c6 yeah and then oh, somebody no. would be so happy like he will take and then later get d5 at some point and then i started telling everyone that you know this is not the right way you should go knight b5 try for c4 thank you then, thank you sagar and then thank, he was like you. everyone is playing knight b5 and thank my for ruining my sicilian <laughs> yeah yeah what what a kill joy but that's, but the kalashnikov is is a really nice opening that's one of one of the first openings i played as black it's, it's good it's good um okay so uh, you, you were saying daniel about this d6 yeah sorry knight f3 Saga, you you're such a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so okay, knight knight c six. Well, here you have a choice. I mean, you can play bishop c four or or bishop b five. Okay, let's. Uh, I mean, I quite like bishop b five actually. But let's let's see. So bishop b five. Okay, so bishop what? d seven. Right, bishop d seven. Okay, let's let's just go knight c3. Let's keep it simple, nice development. Knight f6. Yeah, fine. Um d3. Mm. Well, let's say even g6 is it possible or no? no. Or maybe oh. bishop e7. The thing is I mean now well, you can just take a pawn. You can? Yeah, just take on c6 and take on e5. I mean, it's a because, pawn up for nothing. Because this uh, got defended. Mm. Yeah, with the last. One. I think, you know, I quite like it with this structure. C two D three E four actually. Mm. It's it, it's hard for Black to to break through that. And here, so for example, that that's why I like this move, Bishop B five. Because you're simply threatening to take a pawn. And if they take on F four, well, we play Bishop F four. And this is just a good king's gambit. This is a dream. We we haven't even given up a pawn. And yeah, I mean, Castle's king side is going to be good. Um, but yeah, Saga, thank you for suggesting that. Absolutely. I, li I like queen d2 and I like Castle's queen side. And what I want to do is put the knight on f5. So it could be at some moment I take on c6, play the knight's d4 and f5 with a rook on f1 or maybe a pawn storm with h3 and g4 so castle uh, i always castle short so i'll keep this in mind next time yeah i mean you don't you don't have to castle short you can you can go uh, queen side as well which obviously just puts more yeah. um imbalance into the position because yeah. if if your castle on the opposite wings then you're allowed to make a pawn storm with h3 and g4 Yes. When your king is on g1, then of course you have to be more careful not to advance. So this but, is what I used to always struggle with, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but I also, I mean, castle's king side, absolutely fine as well, because you know we have the option to to attack on the f5 with the rook, and um, yeah, it, it looks very pleasant. Trying to trying to trying to get a knight to f5 is is nice. I'm just unable to play positionally. That's why I probably think it'll be better if I castle long and then just do the pawn storm h4, h g4. Okay. Right. Do you know what? You say you're unable to play positionally. I don't believe that. No, no. I, I, I'm, mother, I'm, I'm still, uh, I always look for tactics. I always want to have like a sacrifice and I want to, you know, uh, you know, checkmate the person i i cannot i cannot handle complicated positions where i'm just doing like a3 b5 just you know tucking my bishop in and all of that stuff that is still too advanced for me i feel but probably that will come with time which is why in the first place i played the king's gambit just just okay. aggressive pawn push and go for the king which, which is fine and actually i think it's really important that when you're kind of starting out um i always feel that it's great to learn the ability to develop quickly, uh, to be able to attack and to be able to spot checkmates because these these are kind of fundamentals. You know, you can talk about positional chess and putting your pieces on nice squares, but fundamentally, you have to checkmate. <laughs> and if yeah. you have this instinct, then I think that's actually really good. 
Yeah. Ever, ever since I've been playing uh, Kings Gambit, I've never had a draw. Never. It's either <laughs> I'm going full all in, or otherwise I'm getting checkmated. So I okay. just love it. Okay. Well, that's good. That's great. So yeah, then maybe maybe bear in mind that actually Carlson Queenside does come into quite a few variations. Can I show you another variation where please, that please, happens please. actually? So he, he takes f4, knight f3, g5. So many people played like this, obviously. So we're playing knight c3. Now, they don't have to play g4, of course. So many people play, many people play d6 here. Okay, so we'll play d4. Now, bishop g7, this is a very common position. Bishop g7 for black. And uh, Dan, if now someone plays g4 because knight e5 is taken away. Bishop takes f4. Ah, you just give it. <laughs> you just give yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And here's another position where I'm very happy. With queen f3. And we're going to castle queenside very, very quickly. And attack in the middle and on the f file. This gives very nice compensation. So, in, in, but instead of this, bishop g7. Now, here is a really, really important moment, actually, where if you play, let's say, in the, the, the kind of normal way with bishop c4, then they can play h6, and it's hard to break down this structure. So here, instead of bishop c4, I recommend g3 so bishop g7 g3 oh ah, i i had seen this in some game okay this is a, a common idea so here obviously if we can take on f4 then it's it's really nice for white we we, we need to break through on the f file and if it takes here then this is also good for us yeah we take on g5 again so We've maybe this is the so only g4 right so knight h4 now they want to keep the f file closed so they play f3 you know when i was a kid i was didn't like to play like this as white because i just assumed this is a protected pass pawn on f3 how can i break through in fact this is a very very good position for white and a lot of play players playing black simply don't realize this. So there's, a, for example, Ruslan Ponomaryov, who's a, a former FIDE world champion. He's played like this. He beat Dominguez with this as white. Oh. So now we play, all we're going to do is we're going to, our next three moves are going to be bishop, D, bishop e3, queen d2, castles queenside. So there's no panic here. Black has a problem. Where does the king go? It's very hard for black to take the king from the center. Mm. Mm. And these pawns, although this is a protected passer, it doesn't impede white much because his pieces are like coming out nicely. Yeah? What you do is you play round the pawns. Mm. So, I mean, let, let me find this, this game that uh, Ponomaryov played, actually, because I think this will, this will give you a nice idea of nice. how it goes. Another new learning, you can also castle long in King's Gambit. Yes. There's no hurry. And also this idea, Samai, to play G3 at the right moment. Uh, yeah, G3. Could be very I'm good. still a little scared about G3, uh, but I'll try it. Okay, wait a second. Let me just... I can find it. Oh, yeah, no, I've got it. I've got it. Okay, so here, uh, knight c6. No, I'm sorry, after, yeah, knight, knight, c, knight c6, queen d2. Okay, Doming Dominguez played h5. By the way, Dominguez is one of the top 10 players in the world right now, and uh, Pono yeah. Mario is, uh, was the FIDE world champion in 2000, I think so. <clears throat> Yeah, that's right. So castles queenside. Knight e7. And now he played h3. In fact, you don't need to play h3, but I'll show something instead. Bishop d7. 
So, I mean, black has a problem here. You know, if you play bishop b6, then obviously white wins a piece with d5. So here, bishop c4. Well, how does black break free? Hmm. This queen doesn't have a square. How about no. uh, knight g6? Okay, Sami, over to you. What would you do? Just uh, simply knight uh, takes. No. No? Okay. Might, it might be good, but I, I can see a better move, I think. Um, b bishop uh, g g5. Bishop g5 could be interesting. What about, uh, yeah, bishop f6 maybe. Um, I think it's good for white, but. Let's see. Uh, then we go queen, uh, knight takes. Knight takes here? Yeah? No, there is yeah. bishop g5, yeah? Yeah, careful bishop oh. g5. Yeah. Instantly, sorry, can instead of bishop f6, can we go back? Queen takes g5. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. And then... Yeah. Ah, oh, it's, it's gone. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, let, let's go back. Instead of bishop g5. Let's think. Mm. Okay, uh, do you simply then go uh, knight f5? Knight f5, that's... Very nice. If bishop nice takes, move. then we get a free open e file. Exactly. So bishop takes and now knight e7. Oh, and then you go bishop g5 also? Bishop g5, I like. Yep. Because if he's going to break the pin with f6, then that bishop on c4 looks like it's having a really nice day. <laughs> I would play bishop e6 here. Let's just... Ah, oh, yeah. Let's bishop give it up. e6. Yeah, yeah. Just... Oh, okay. Okay, nice. so pawn, take, pawn takes bishop. Okay, let's just let's have some fun. Okay, pawn, pawn, takes. G, pawn takes g4. Watch out for queen g5, bishop h6 again, by the way. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so black takes on g4, right? Okay, rook, rook h8. Queen g5. Okay, this, this isn't going to last very long. This is the perfect illustration of how black uh black's king had nowhere to go yeah like no good exactly place. yeah wow yeah. this is this is this is the beauty i love of king's gambit this, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, attack, please let's go for the attack yeah definitely can i can i go back because this is in fact instead of bishop c4 in this position it's actually stronger to play Okay, I'm going to give it to you again. <laughs> There's actually a better move, and it's connected with the ideas we've been looking at. Okay, 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 let's see. It has to be either e5 or d5. Let's see. Not yet, not yet. No? Hmm. This is a really subtle move, but oh, it's strong. Uh, knight d5? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, uh, there are not too many. If you are not going to push the pawns, uh, then you... And you don't develop... Maybe bishop c4 is bishop was the previous move so that's not the move so hey, listen bishop c4 is a good move but yeah, there's something yeah. that's even better even better yeah yeah it's this is very subtle this is gonna blow your mind <laughs> but but the problem is i want to move this bishop but this pawn keeps hanging so that's also not doesn't look great no no it's yeah possible <laughs> <laughs> ah okay 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 all right Oh, Sagar, have you spotted something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like you go and then you come back, yeah? Like something like that. No, 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 no not no, like no. that? Well, not yet, back, not yet. No, 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 no. This is going to blow your mind. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've guaranteed. Okay. okay let's just try regular stuff then. Uh, Knight G6. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not this one. I don't I, I know that uh, Dan uh, says it's going to blow your mind sometimes when it's uh, it may not be like a peace sacrifice it could be something very subtle yeah like yeah yeah it's uh, this is subtle yeah okay um a3 <laughs> no like with the idea <laughs> no idea go on <laughs> go on sir don't don't waste your energy <laughs> no, I, i i i give up i give up What okay Okay, I'm going to give you a, a big fat clue. It's a rook move. Ooh. There are only you, there are only three rook three. moves. Three rook moves. Okay, you top three oh. rook moves. Is it rook e1? Rook e1. <laughs> yeah, keeping the rook on that file and then opening it later. Ooh. Okay, basically in this position, so yeah, sometimes knight f5, sometimes knight d5. Now if you think that king has massive problems in this position it can't move but if you put your knights on d5 and f5 once that e file opens it's carnage basically yeah. and it can't go to the king side because at the h file is going to open it it's gone wow. but if but if we get in knight d5 and knight f5 we've also got our move bishop g5 coming in fact we don't actually need the bishop on f1 Rookie one actually just puts Very nice. I mean it just asks black the question okay what's your next move that there, there is no good move for black in this position yeah castling i mean this is just uh one zero yeah like this will open up here and yeah, yeah. if you play bishop takes then we're going to take the pawn on f3 and uh, it's yeah yeah it's just over you know you can play very simply you can play queen f2 and you can take the pawn okay but yeah and if pawn takes then we're going to play bishop h6 and boom yeah is there no defense whatsoever after rook e1 yeah it's black doesn't have ah. a very good move here how about uh, okay try yeah. something just try something let's let's see <laughs> it's not easy I'm, to it's not easy to suggest a move i'm saying let's if somehow we can remove that bishop from d7 and get the queen to d7 and long castle i think but it's ah maybe so then it means take here perhaps i mean it looks ugly very bad but at least we get some squares yeah but, but okay. you know dominguez tried this i'll show you the game i'll show you the whole game in a second but once you play like this this is just kind of ca capitulation hmm. because you could just play bishop h3 and take on f3 uh, and you're just going to mop up because you take the pawn on f3 i mean it's just i mean my only aim was to just castle somehow but yeah i sure. understand that uh, position it's big it's a big price to play po pay positionally for this yeah i mean in that position after instead of moving the rook back i would play rook h1 ah get here okay yeah and then castles queen side and then take pick on f3 well i mean white's just a lot better but in but okay same you want to checkmate so instead of taking on h3 let's 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 play uh no bishop bishop c4 now we'll mate him on the f file yeah why not bishop uh, g5 again if i'm missing anything which one why not bishop g5 here because oh, he... uh, we may lose this pawn i don't know if but yeah it's also possible because take maybe yeah, yeah. something like this yeah, yeah. yeah also that looks convincing but let me show you the game uh, and uh, between ponomaryov and dominguez so after h3 bishop d7 so he played bishop c4 just very quickly bishop e6 okay now it's tricky because if d5 then he goes knight e5 and saves his piece and now black has freedom So after bishop b6 he played knight d5 that's okay that's that's one of our nice knight moves queen d7 okay now he played bishop b3 to unpin knight g6 knight f5 takes takes queen queen f5 
H takes G4. Uh, queen G4. Knight C7. King D7. Knight A8, Rook A8. Queen F2. Okay, now he's going to mop up. He's just going to take the F-pawn. Um, rook E8. Bishop D5. F5. Bishop F3. Yep. Queen trapped. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Wow. And this this was done to a world class player, yeah. Who's black? Yeah. Okay, it's a blitz game, but still. Okay. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. Amazing. It's just very very difficult for black to develop in that position. Um, and what Ponomarev did with Bishop C four, of course, it's very good. But actually, rookie one is really nasty. <laughs> Rookie one is like uh, telling the opponent that you don't have a good move. Yeah. And then then we're going to play either knight d5 or well, probably knight d5 actually is going to be the next move. Followed by Same, your move, bishop g5 and plonk and, and maybe then knight f5 or, or check on f6 or bishop f6. That looks like it looks great for white. It is great. And so many players go in for this position with g4 and f3, thinking, right, the f file is closed, they're secure. In fact, white has a really promising position. And it's, you know, it's nice when white is able to castle queenside. Because for once, white's king is completely safe in the king's cavity. We can't always say that. Yeah. This is beautiful. I, this is such a great concept of castling queenside in the King's Gambit. I haven't tried it yet, but now I will. But Dan, so much knowledge. Uh, like This was such a lovely interaction uh, because Sama is asking questions. You are responding to them. Then you are adding in some knowledge and then he's trying to solve it. It's. I mean, I could see in the chat so many people learned King's Indian so quickly. Uh, because King's of, Indian. Uh, sorry, King's Gambit. <laughs> King's nice. Gambit. <laughs> That's that's another day. <laughs> <laughs> because Actually, I'm... Sammy, what Sammy, what do you play against D four? Oh, against D. Wow, you have that's another that's a long uh, question, you know, because I always mess up. And now I, I used to I start playing uh, uh, the Kings Indian, but then I always used to blunder. So then I, now I start playing the Nimzo Indian. Okay, yeah, okay, it's a good opening. Yeah, I'm well, still there having some of... troubles with uh, D four, but uh, I'm I'm now trying Dutch. It's very risky, but like it suits kind of my style for now. Okay. All right. Playing with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to offer anything. <laughs> well, Dan, just, Dan, what's uh, just, what's your favorite? Do your, thing. do your thing. After D4. Okay. Sa Same is just going to start yawning after this. I know. Please don't tell me you play D4, D5. D4, D5. I do oh, no. D4, D5. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> Queen's Gambit decline. This is, yeah, it's it's just good. I like it for black. We we put our put our pawns in the middle. Classical development. It's nice. Two openings I hate this and French. And the French. Are yeah. you not a French lover? Oh, that's a pity. <laughs> that's a pity. You may, my my two main openings against e4 are okay first first of all sicilian and i've play well i mean principally the night off as saga knows yes. <laughs> we've had we, we sessions one, with the yes on the night off but also i like the kalashnikov and i like the sveshnikov as well so i really like the sicilian but but i do play the french with black as well and i i like the french because it's actually it's a counter-attacking opening because once when you get in c5 then yeah things start to happen basically and samai goes f4 here as well he's like such a king <laughs> <laughs> he's like please play e5 <laughs> now <laughs> just just e4 f4 no matter what <laughs> and i just pray that now no one plays e4 e5 f4 f5 i just that's, that's my worst fear now Okay. But thank you so much, Daniel. I had the best stream. Like, I have done so many streams now. 
but i feel this is the best stream that i ever had i have learned so much like genuinely i was so interested i was not even looking at the chat i was just yes. into this entire session i was and i don't even know how many uh, how many minutes have passed sure and, that i mean i can tell you he's never so focused he's always like hey sagar look at the chat someone is saying this someone is saying that <laughs> today he was completely engrossed in the in oh the man. chess Sam, I apologize for making it so serious, <laughs> such a serious session. No, no, I had fun. I this, I had so much fun. You know, now that I'm becoming kind of like higher rated around sixteen hundred, now I'm starting to enjoy the chess part of it rather than just the blunders. And, okay, uh, well, li well, listen, we should uh, we should do another session. Yes. And and one second. More King's Let's Gambit, definitely. Sure. I'd like to see some of your games. That'd be that'd be really nice. Okay. And I would love to have you on my stream. Uh, on my stream, basically, we just keep it light. We just play some fun variants. We do some stuff. Yeah, you know, that'll be that'll be you. fun. And be um, fun. we'll we'll talk some more guitar as well. For sure, for sure. Samay, Samay, yeah. Samay, you need to yeah. play uh, one, yeah. One. I have to you just find your guitar. Again. I have to find one second. I'll just be one fine. second. Let me make sure okay. you guys are on the screen. I'll 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 play a uh, what do you call that thing, and you you guess what it is. Okay. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, as Samai is bringing his uh, laptop, ah, uh, sorry, the uh, guitar. Please, guys, yeah. uh, go here to Power Play Chess. This is Daniel King's uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it. Um, this is where Daniel puts the videos regularly. In fact, he has around a video once every two days. Mods. If you can spam the link in this. It's one of, I would say, educationally, knowledge-wise, one of the best channels out there. So, please do uh, subscribe to it. And also, if you want to learn the King's Gambit better, then try to get PowerPlay 27, PowerPlay 28 of Daniel King. Uh, the link is in the description. And also, you can get Daniel King's entire series of power plays 1 to 28 because they are simply phenomenal i grew up on them oh rock and roll dude you have the gibson uh this is like the one that bb king plays right can you hear it okay oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're too good okay i'll, I'll just play i'll play like you, you already know know this one are we in tune? I don't know. Nice. Pride and joy. Beautiful. Pride and joy. Pride and joy. It's very difficult on the acoustic, but I enjoy it. I can't. I can't hear your guitar very well. I think it you needs. Can't? Yeah. yeah, your your guitar. Uh, some of your sound is low on the guitar. Yeah, pump it up. Can you hear mine? Okay, Saga. Yes, very well. Now it's slightly better. Some still low. Can you? Wait. Now tell me if you can hear it. Oh, that's better. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Keep going.
Dan, everyone saying, Dan, don't play so well because there'll be a copyright incoming for us <laughs> if you play it so well. <laughs> no, it's a joke. Come on. Nice. I was backing you, but you probably can't hear it. So there's, there's some latency. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we need we need some help. Have, have you heard? Have you heard Johnny Winter? Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, the, I tell you, the guy apart from BB King, the guy I like is Freddie King, actually. Freddie King, yeah. Yeah, do you know Fred? Um, yeah, yeah I, I know all the kings: Freddie King, Albert King, BB King. Yeah. I, I kind of like Albert, Albert King, and uh, SRV's combination. There's there's an entire one hour of uh, them just jamming, and they're just talking about stuff. Have you heard "Born Under the Bad Sign"? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're just jamming on that. Born under a bad sign, bad sign. Been down since yeah. I was born. Big in the ground. Nothing but bad luck. Wouldn't have no luck at all. No luck at all. Yeah. Man, the saga, the lyrics of blues songs are so simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm born under the bad sign. I have no luck at all. If I ever had some luck, bad luck is all. The, uh, wow. If I ever had luck. Bad, bad luck is all I had types. Mm. I am going to just play. listen to blues songs more now because of this session. And I think mm. uh, people in the chat are also going to be bigger fans of blues songs. Dan, you play in a professional band, yes? Uh, well, not at the moment, to be honest. But no. but yeah, I have absolutely. I've played played in a, a few bands. Yeah. Wow. But actually, no. but, but actually playing playing the electric bass and playing the double bass as well. Amazing. That's that. That was actually my. Uh, I switched to to the playing the bass, um, because. They they needed uh, 
uh, they needed a bass player. So I switched from playing the guitar and actually the, the bass became my main instrument. Um, but I, I play the guitar for fun, but the bass actually, that was, yeah, that's, I ended up playing lots of, lots of bands with the bass actually. Do you by any chance follow uh, Davy504, this is YouTuber, who's a bass guitarist who just makes fun content around bass. What's his name? Davy504. Davy504, okay. Yeah, just check him out, it's too, he's too good. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. Also, Davey... I was saying, you know who you, who you look like? You look like Steve Y. Uh, have you ever got that before? Who? Steve Y. Steve, no? Steve Y. Steve Y? Yeah. Who he? I'll show you. <laughs> Okay. No, there's one one person uh, one uh, name that's constantly being put in the chat is this Game of Thrones character. Oh, Steve Y. Yeah, Sagar. <laughs> no, 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 no. He doesn't look like that. You know? No, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find some glasses. But yeah, I had a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. And thank you so much, Sagar, for uh, introducing us like this. Yes. It's like... Yeah, yeah. Sammy, we'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah, yeah we have to. We have to. You know, yeah, for, let, let's just end on this. Know that King's Gambit is the best opening. And mo today's music is just not good. It's not good. The music that is there right now is bad. It's horrible. Sammy, Sammy right. if your chess rating is so 1600, agree. then what would be your guitar rating like? Oh, now it's too less. Now it must be around... 18, 1900. Like back in the day when I used to be in Pune, I used to have my electric guitar and I used to play every day, you know, because I'm in college, young, and I want to look cool and stuff. Just playing solos while my guitar gently weeps everything. But now it's like mm -hmm. the guitar, it's like just put out there. I play sometimes and I mostly play. I'm trying to sing for myself, so I don't play as much. So I've gotten very rusty. All this thing is now soft, which used to be very hard. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I I'm planning to buy an electric guitar again and just start all over again. Mm. I've forgotten scales and everything. I used to improvise on the go stuff like that. It's all gone. Yeah. But Dan, you would, you would be very, uh, like equally good at guitar as you are at chess. Yeah. No, 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 no. Definitely, definitely not. No, no. But I was okay at the bass. I was okay at the bass. At the bass. Okay. I mean, you know, playing playing with professional bands. So you know, on I say professional. You know, we we would play. Um, you know, birthdays, weddings, this kind of thing, you know, fun a function band, but it's, but it's kind of fun. I like playing parties because people are up for, you know, they're, they're in a happy mood and it's just really good fun to play for people when they're up for it and they want to dance and have a, you know, have a good time. Really? You know, I'm, I don't get precious about the kind of music I play. We, you know, we play hits, we play covers oh, and it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. People people are happy and they want to dance. It's great. Do you have your own music also, like own songs? No, no. I just, I, I mean, I jam around, you know, yeah, yeah. and that's fun. Yeah. Man. Dan, before, yeah. before ending this session, can we just have one small piece from you, like a, a, a 30 second or a one minute, and then we end this entire stream, you know? Oh, God. Uh, anything, oh. anything that your favorite, uh, what do you like? Um, Come on, let, let, wish you were here. Yeah, let me let me turn it up a little bit. Um, hmm, I can't think actually. What would Anything. I like to do? Uh, yeah, now now you've got me. <laughs> um. I can't even play it now. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. um. There you go. You can play it much better than I can. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> have, you, have you heard the live live version of this uh, one? Sorry? 
have you heard the live version where the, where yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. jimmy page is with that gibson double neck guitar yeah oh man saga there's so much music that you have to listen to yeah i have to listen to a lot but i see that you and daniel are going to have a lot of chess plus guitar connections with each other and <laughs> it's going to be amazing there we are final note <laughs> i can't think of anything to play at the moment but anyway yeah. sammy it was a pleasure it was i had the best time of my uh, quarantine man thank you so much you know every day something like i played with magnus i played uh, my video got every day something crazy is happening and like every day the happiness gets higher and higher and today i think it's the highest for now like i have never had so much fun on any stream like and today i'm just like bhai maza aa gaya bhai i am so happy today thank you so much thank you so much that listen it was a pleasure saga thank you will nice nice to nice to see you again and yes. uh, i'm how how do we do this who clicks off first <laughs> oh, that's fine that's fine you you can you can go ahead dan and i will i will just talk to the viewers just uh, say goodbye to them uh, and uh, also ask them like you know how they enjoyed and all but thank you so much for being here and i will i will uh, be in touch with you and we will hope hopefully we can do this again it would be great for fantastic you. okay yeah. see you guys see you, i'm going to leave bye 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 भाई क्या ही मजा आया भाई आज जो मजा आया ना भाई इट वाज भाई टू गुड यू नो यू नो समय व्हेन आई वाज यंग लाइक व्हेन आई वाज जस्ट लाइक 14 15 आई यूज्ड टू वाच डैनियल किंग्स पावर प्ले फ्रॉम 1 2 3 ही वाज 4 4 आवर्स डीवीडी एंड आई वुड सिट एंड आई वुड ट्राई टू सॉल्व एंड ही वुड से जस्ट लाइक दिस पॉज योर वीडियो नाउ एंड ट्राई टू थिंक एंड आई वुड थिंक एंड थिंक एंड थिंक एंड टुडे ही वाज हियर एंड ही वाज सेइंग Samai oh. pause now just think and it was so nice my full focus with avai man aaj aise aise move karta hai avai you are you are in great form yeah you you did you learn uh, uh, a lot about king's gambit <laughs> practice matlab <laughs> from from him i learned but i had not come from any uh, i had jitna no, 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 no. that's okay. what i'm saying from him like, did you learn today to so much i learned man today so much i learned कभी कभी ऐसा होता है ना कि मेरे को लगा कि कोई आया फिर से सिखाया अरे यार बहुत हो गया बट मैं ऐसे दिल मेरा दिमाग में होता यार इट विल एंड एट सम पॉइंट यार इट विल एंड एट सम पॉइंट और एक डाउट पूछ लो यार क्या होगा क्या होगा भाई कुछ तो बोलो समय भाई टेल कैन यू प्लीज टेल द व्यूअर्स टू सब्सक्राइब टू डैनियल किंग्स चैनल पावर प्ले चेस मैन प्लीज 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 सब्सक्राइब This is the one over here guys. Power play chess with Daniel King. Please subscribe. There are right now oh 66.5 subscribers. I hope we can take it up and you know I once had a girl or should I say she once had me. She showed me her room is in the Norwegian Shall you can end the stream with this song? She asked me to stay, and she told me to sit anywhere. I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. I sat on a rug, biding my time, drinking her wine. She talked until two. and then she said it's time for play Bye guys